Hey you guys, this is Dr. Jean Guy here and today I would like to talk to you about some of my favorite. And uh, some of you here know this, but maybe some of you don't. Uh, as you may know, I grew up on the farm and this uh, farming business is really dear to me. And uh, still, if I go back home uh, in this day now, I've, been, I've left Canada 25 plus years ago and my family, they're still, they're still farming. They have thousands of acres of farmland and growing vegetables. And this is what kind of what my background is. So I wanna share with you today, right? A little bit about uh, the reason why I'm gonna go over some food supplements today, but why is that my favorite and why, you know, I think it's important that you understand where we come from. Most people never question, right? What they have in front of them. What does that really mean? What is it, where did, did that come from? And I believe that if you want to have a better understanding about nutrition, your first question is whatever you're putting in your bodies, you need to ask the question, where is that coming from? And this is going to help you kind of understand where I'm going with that today because uh, frequently when I talk to patients, which I've done this now for you know, 25 years full time, most people never question that. They never question you know, what they have in front of them. You know, where is that coming from? Is that nutrient dense? Uh, you know, what's the quality of it? You know, uh, if it's an animal protein, how was it treated? So I just want to make sure that today you understand, I want to give you some clarity on that and put a little bit of uh, understanding to what you have in front of you and what you can do in order to do a better job, right? Starting today by making little changes, but you can only make little changes based on the quality of the question that you're asking about what you're putting in your body. So this being said, right, for instance, if you were to be having some animal protein, uh, for instance, a, a steak, right? The question would be like, where does that steak come from, right? So, you know, what was the cow eating at the time, you know, for its entire life? If you were to just cut the uh, cow loose in the pasture, the cow would be eating grass, right? The cow would not be eating soy and corn, which most cows today in this country are being fed with corn and soy their entire life. Not only they're being fed with corn and soy, but they also, you know, they get injected with hormones, antibiotic, and just name it. So by the time it gets into your plate, right, this is what you're putting into your body. So there's a, a body of research out there that says that when people have chronic illnesses like rheumatoid arthritis, you should not be eating red meat. Well, Dr. Jangi kind of disagree with that. And the reason why I disagree with that is because if when you read those journals, they never fed the people with real food or like it was not grass fed beef that was organic. So don't you think that maybe the outcome would have been different? So I want you to be thinking about that of like, okay, you know, those little eggs that I'm eating right now, where are they coming from? You know, uh, how were they fed? Uh, were they just roaming around and being able to do their own thing? Right? So if you come to uh, the Daniel compound, right? We have small farm with, you know, chickens and, you know, and, and cows and, and pigs and all of that. So how were they treated? And back when I was in chiropractic school, long time ago, right? Back in the 90s, we had to read a book. It's called The Diet for New America by John Robbins. And if you read the book, by the time you're done, you become a vegetarian for sure. But the motive of his book was, you know, animals in this country are not being treated properly. So I want you to have the understanding of like, you know, where does our food comes from? What you have in front of you? You know, how was it treated? What's the quality of it? And today this leads me to one of my favorite, right? One of my favorite lifestyle, right? Lifestyle mix of a vegetable here. It says SP Power Mix. Now, uh, before I go into the SP Power Mix, right? Stainer process, if you go to their farm, which I've been there about, you know, seven times so far at different times of the year, there's many people can have a garden, which you might have one that might be organic, right? It's 10 by 10. But having an organic farm that is a thousand acres of farmland, that's a little bit more challenging. And I want you to know that when people say, well, Dr. Jean-Guy, you know why you're a fan of standard process or you know, some of their food supplements is because I've been there seven times. I see what's happening on the farm and I see what is being grown on the farm, how they bring it to the manufacturer, they take the water out of it, they vacuum dry it, and then they just you know, put that in a powder form on a capsule or in a tablet. And most of the time when you open it up, it's like, well, it might not look so good, it might not smell so good, it might not taste so good, but yet it's nutrient dense. 
And this is really what matters today for you and I, for us, is to have nutrient-dense food that we're putting into our body, not just putting stuff in which has a lot of calories, but yet doesn't have any nutrient. If you look back in food science now, right, you go back 50 years ago, 100 years ago, and you look at what was in the organic apple versus what it's in the organic apple now, we already know that the soil is being depleted. Right? We already know that. The nutrient in that same apple today is much less than it used to be. According to some of those research, it's like up to 50% less of the nutrient, which is huge. So I want you to have the understanding again today of like, as I'm presenting to you this uh, SP Power Mix, right? If I read here on, uh, right at the front, it says, so you have some organic uh, kale, alfalfa, barley grass, Brussels sprout, beets, buckwheat, kidney beans, pea vines, turnip greens. So you have all this stuff in there, which is, again, it's nutrient dense. And this is really what you want for your body. So this is the perfect, like, I'm gonna start my day and I'm gonna put that in my shake, right? You can do that, you know, you can do that first thing in the morning, at lunchtime, at night, but it's nutrient dense. Not only you have a bunch of, you know, vegetables in there, but you also have some fruit in there as well. And you have all the array of the nutrient that is needed in order to give your body the raw material so you can build the walls that are as strong as they can be right from a nutritional perspective because remember our blueprint is the same for all of us right the blueprint is the same but how you build the house and the material that you're using for that house is going to be different so today i just want to spend a little bit of time right to kind of uh you know to recap on this idea of like what do you want to do for your body right you want to make sure you ask the right question whatever food you have in front of you you want to be asking the question where is that coming from Right, those fruits and vegetables were they sprayed with chemicals? You should probably know that, right? There's a difference between organic fruits and vegetables versus not. There's a difference between grass fed, organic versus not. There's a difference between pasture, uh, you know, those little chicken, they can just mosey around and you know, do their business every day and just being fed properly, treated properly, because that's going to make a difference into what you're putting in your body. And that is the reason why today, um, if you haven't tried this SP powder mix, you know, go to our office, right? And just ask for the SP powder mix and you just try it for a month and you will see how much it's gonna make a difference in your life by putting nutrient dense food into your body. Number one is you're gonna feel like satisfied, number one, right? And then number two is, you know, your body's gonna start changing because it's impossible uh, in order to use like if you use the best material to, to build a house right this house gonna be just like build on a strong foundation because the walls are the best well that's the same thing in your body you want to have a healthy body you want to have a body that right that is uh, that can sustain the environment and what we have to what you have to do on a day-to-day -day basis well guess what you know this SP mix is for you so just come in to our office right and uh, just grab yourself your first bucket and just try it out and uh, hopefully you learned something today and just remember that your health is your wealth take care